We're gonna work on this flathead today, guys. We're going to go ahead and pull the heads on it. We're gonna show you what you wanna look for when you're looking at a, a used motor, whether you're gonna rebuild it or whether you're gonna run it as is. So we're gonna get this thing pulled apart. We got a customer that's gonna buy it and we need to get it stripped down. So we're gonna take it all apart, all the way down to the pan and the crank and everything out. So Travis is working on it already. We're gonna get the mount put on there, put it on the engine stand, drain the oil and get after it. Trust it. <laughs> Three little car bolts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Done it before. So I'll just trust it right here. Yeah, it'll be alright. Just get it tight so it don't, it's not loose. Hey, there's a That's all you got, man. <laughs> you use what you got around here. <laughs> yeah, this has got this little crazy mercury water pump. Whoa. It's off now. Yeah, I would take that. Probably. Yeah, I'll make sure it's out of the way. Hopefully. Tell you what, raise it up some. We'll... Now set it down. I don't know if that makes any difference, but. Oh, I bet yeah. we can get it. Hang on. Hang on. We're fighting this one, man. Yep. I hope this is the hardest part. This is like the Jake Paul Mike Tyson fight. <laughs> Who's <laughs> who? He's winning, I don't know. Uh, Swing it out. As far as you can, and I'll drop it, and I think we can. Yeah, drop it right there. Yep, it works. Now the... Don't do that bolt. No, don't do that. <laughs> Let's see. Hold 
full speed down now. It's down. It's yeah. That's right. Do this. Oh, they're good. We get it on all four, so we're good there. Huh? Use your hammer if you need it. Oh yeah. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull this intake, get that out of the way, and then we'll start pulling all the heads off. Because the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check to see if this, if the valve seats around the valve areas have cracks in them. You'll normally find cracks between the head studs and the water ports in the block, but you don't want to find them between the, um, <laughs> the valve and the it. cylinder. Yeah, you don't want to find them between the valve and the cylinder. Half down, yeah. You get two bars out of three, so. Already broke one, huh? Already broke one. And I wouldn't. You didn't even give it no of it, does huh? <laughs> See, that's what the impact's for. It'll snap them off a whole lot quicker. <laughs> All right, here's what you're gonna see when you open up a flathead. You can see down in there, those have the stock lifters. There's a little bit of trash in there. But uh, if this was a, a motor that had been gone through, you'll see these lifters right here would be adjustable. That'd be the first thing you'd notice. But you can see some of the old, old mint green paint. So, Travis has pulled all those head bolts out or broke them off, one of the one of the two, and we're fixing to pop that head off there so we can get a good look at it. Still on there, but that's no big deal. Now we're ready to pull that thing off there, huh? Yes, sir. We can get that hammer. I got a bar in case we need it. We can go tap, tap, tap through. Oh, we need to take the distributor. Oh, I forgot all about that. Yes. Yep. Did it have a gasket on it? Well, yeah, it's it did. still on there. And a little water in there, didn't it? Yep. Yep. Yeah, it's got a little trash in there. Man, they broke off flush too. <laughs> yeah, they did. Three, four. That one's already broke, so it's resting five, on now. Six. 
that, get that pulled off wire there. wheel. Yeah. Put this thing on there. All right, here's what you're gonna see, guys. You're gonna see all that junk right there. When you pull that head off there. And right there where he's grinding, he's not grinding, it's actually a wire wheel. But we're looking for cracks in those areas right there by those valves. I don't see them. All down through there. So, even, even though this side might be good, you got a 50-50 shot at this one being bad. So, that's what I know. That's why they crack right here is because both exhausts come down this center. It gets hotter in here. Yeah, makes sense. Does. Makes total sense. Well, I'll build this side. <laughs> <laughs> this side can get built. Huh? Yeah. This side's thirty over. That side's cracked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That looks really pretty good. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. I didn't look in between any of the, these, but those aren't that big a deal. No, those come from the factory in there. There's one. one. Yeah. No? Yeah. Yeah, it there is. it is. I can see it. All right, guys. Right here it is. This is the spot you're going to look at right in here. You're going to see there's the valve seat in there, and you're going to see a crack that runs from that valve right to that cylinder. It's going to be on any one of these valves, but typically it's on the intake ones. I mean, on the exhaust ones. Yep. So, but you can find them anywhere in there. But this one looks really good. I don't see any any cracks right in there. No cause for concern yet. Yeah, we've got a bunch of broke head studs, which is kind of par for the course with a flathead. The later uh, 8BAs come with uh, head bolts. In the earlier 24 stud or the 59As come with um, nuts and, and studs. Studs, yeah. So they're a little bit easier. They're harder to take off because you still have that stud sticking out, but you don't typically break them off. All right, we got a little, little juice in there. That might just be Ooh. oil. Whatever it is, it looks, looks like a gummy bear done went to <laughs> heaven. I wonder if it's... Oh, 60 over. Already? Is it 60? That's not 60. That is 60. You got your wire that, wheel. That is definitely 60. <laughs> it's 60 over already. Here's the thing. The guy that's buying it, it's taking it to 125 thousandths. Don't matter. <laughs> yeah. There's plenty of room then. He said, I just want to be able to take it to 125 thousandths. So he's taking it max. I said, you're going to board out an eighth of an inch, like first go around? He's like, yep. That I means like, right. there's, this is the last time it's getting. That's it. That is the life of it. So I didn't try to tell him what he needed to know. No. We're going to work on the other side now. We'll get that pulled. It's got a stud in it. Huh? It's got one stud in it. Oh, it sure does, doesn't it? <laughs> is that leftover? <laughs> It's a 48 motor. They're like, oh, we got one stud left. Throw it in there. Run it. Yeah. Oh, 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 cut in. It's got, I think it's got the <laughs> diesel in it. Red, oh, no, it has the license yeah. for that. that yeah. Red fuel. Yeah, I think that thing's going to fill up before I get it. I'm making a mess, dude. <laughs> there we go. Awesome. This side doesn't seem as tight. Yeah. I wonder if they, uh, I just started on it. Yep. Got another wrench. There it goes. Yep, put it back there. Did it loosen up on it? So, 
it it's spinning on there because you're when you're moving it. That's the whole head needs to go. See that gap there? And this is almost right on it. Mm -hmm. There's nothing there. Huh? On it. I'm not. Yeah, some goodies up in there. How's that look? Looks pretty it's good. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. Yeah. That looks good. I don't see nothing wrong with those. Well, that's good. Oh, this side's 30 over. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> okay, well, we're good to go on that. So we're gonna move forward, breaking her down. We gotta take the bell housing off. The oil pan will show you there's another area down here that's really bad about cracking on the flathead. It's down here on the oil pan rail. So Always pressure check them. Yep, always pressure check them. So what do you want to do next? Uh, yeah. Pull the pumps off, timing pull. cover on this side. Pull that off. That, then we can get the valves. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Heat cycled. <laughs> it's just this side. Yeah. No telling, man. Got a it's stainless. Yeah, you want stainless ones in the bottom one. They didn't put it in the bottom one. <laughs> <laughs> they, put it, they put it in the top one, huh? <laughs> That's why it's rusted down there because they didn't know. <laughs> now I gotta find a spot for all this stuff. There we go. Oh, there you go. Yep. So you're supposed to run the stainless bolt in the lower water pump outlet. Um, you don't really want to run a steel one unless you're going to leave it for the next guy. No? You're trying to buy it? Kind of trying. You're kind of not. It's like it gets to a point where it kind of yeah, it just rolls off of it, I'm rolls. sure. Yeah. yeah, I get. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll have to leave that. Do you have a six point? Nine, six eighths? Uh, oh, yeah, look at there. Boom. Snap her off! It is. <laughs> I don't even think about that half the time. <laughs> 12 point, you know? But yeah. Here's what we're talking about. This lower outlet here has a bolt hole right through it. So you have to go into the water pump, which I got upside down, but you have to go to the end of the water pump and set that. So the stainless one should be right there instead of there. Both of them are on that middle yeah. one. Yeah, none of those, none of those valves are moving. <laughs> Oh, there it goes. That one's going. There we go. I think it's working back and forth tonight. Good thing I had that diesel on it. Yeah. 
Yeah, that one's moving now. That one's moving. Yep, you're good to go now, I think. Rusted, so yeah, we know that. You might be getting a. You, get, you might be getting a cam in. The, yeah, let's just leave that. Let's just go ahead and uh, flip it over and get the crank out, pistons out. Yeah, let's pull that oil pan off. Turn it. I still got this uh, starter plate too. These come off. There's all those, and there's not a the starter bracket wasn't on there, so. And save all those bolts because we'll put that oil pan back on there for him. Okay. Okay, she's coming loose, Captain. Hold it, I can get it. I got it. Ready? Yep, go for it. Ah. <laughs> okay. Oh, I want it so bad. Oh, that's nasty. Yeah. Oh, that's nasty. Yeah. Moving all the junk. from the factory man. Yeah, that's factory casting. Looks bad, don't it? It does. You guys want to see it up close? Let's look. The tails of the Merc crank is the let's see if we get around this side. These plugs right here. Also your yeah your plugs are bigger. What are they? Those are eights? those are pressed in. Those are? Mm-hmm. Sometimes and, they're pipe plugs, they're threaded pipe plugs. And then sometimes you'll find, once you get the crank out, you'll find mm. on one of the counterbalances, it, it might say 1CM and that would be your Mercury. That'd be the dead giveaway, it's a Mercury crank, but if it doesn't have that, then you can look at the uh, cleanouts and those little holes there in that counterbalance and that will kind of give you a quick visual inspection that it's a Mercury crank. And if you so. have a crank turned, Always make sure the machine shop cleans, actually takes them out. Do what? Make sure they actually pull those plugs. And clean that journal clean out. clean it out. Otherwise, yeah. you're putting all that crap right back in there. Yeah. So, Travis just ran into that. He had... Thanks, Travis. <laughs> had a what? <laughs> you, had, you had your crank turned and then got it home and the clean outs hadn't been taken out, right? Correct. And so, what'd you do? You took it back to the machine took shop. Took it back. They uh, popped it loose, and they had trouble getting them out. They actually had to drill them out because that means they never did take them out. Yeah. And uh, they cleaned it out, and I inspected it after that. Okay. Yep. All right. We're out. Where to go? Crazy how those rings are just, some of them are just like, mm -hmm. like that came out and that was just like, <laughs> <laughs> what do I do? I don't know what to do. <laughs> All right, crank her over. Yeah, let's go uh, that way and see if this will free that one. Hope you already hit something. Yeah, go back that way. All right, that's it. These pistons are, you can see they are numbered. That one's numbered. See if I can get to where you can read it. The rods. Yeah, the rods. These rods are, thanks for the correction. <laughs> Good thing it ain't live and yeah, I can edit right. it. Yeah. <laughs> These rods are numbered along with your, um, what do you call it, Travis? Caps. Your cap. So this one is four. You can see it right there. It's four and that one's a seven, so. The numbers always go together, which these two don't go together, obviously, but 
just showing you so you see the numbers. So you'll know exactly what uh, cylinder this rod and piston goes in when you get it put together. Yeah, those are numbered. And what did you say? So the, it's not only for the cylinder, it's also just to know that they're together. Cap, caps and they the rods go, yeah. are machined true together. I'm no expert. He's the expert here. Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still learning. I'm going to learn until the day I die. So now that we've got all the cylinders out, we're going to pop these mains off and go ahead and pull that crank out. And we'll probably go ahead and pull this oil pump too. That way that he can haul that block home without that in the way. It's loose, but I didn't get it. We're probably going to... What do you want? I don't have the bolt out, but I've got it loose. Oh, this is loose? Yeah. But we're probably going to have to get... Drive it? Yeah. Drive it out? Okay. Sometimes those are all... They go all the way up in there. It's yeah. Because they run up there off the cam? Mm-hmm. Back of the cam. Yeah. Now these, I'd like to keep... Obviously, the back one is your thick one. Oh, yeah. They say you can't get them mixed up. See how that's, yeah, that's thick right thicker. there? Yeah, it's thicker on one side. And your holes won't line up. Yeah, but makes sometimes sense. Sometimes they have an arrow. I don't know that these do. They've got an A on it right there. That one's got a... Rotate it, rotate it this way just a little bit. Go again. Oh, now well. One more. Right there. Now I guess. You good? Yeah. One, two, three. Okay. Good to go. Nope, there's some more wood. <laughs> <laughs> Got some tree fitty parts in it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that would have ran. It would have been hard to fire it up with those stuck. It might have been three, three cylinder, four cylinder. It'd have been doing all kinds of crazy stuff, dude. <laughs> yeah. It really would have. <laughs> because you'd have had exhaust and uh, <laughs> intake valves open at the same time. It would have been doing all kinds of stuff. Oh no, it was out of the water jacket. <laughs> there we go. Little oh, rag. Man. Yeah. There's even a hair. A hair. <laughs> yeah. She good to go now. So we'll leave the cam in there and the lifters and we'll let the machine shop take those out for him. All yeah. we really wanted, all I wanted out of the block was the crank and the rods which we've got all those, so we're good to go there. I'll save those for another day, another project. Sounds like we're gonna be tearing down another one. Maybe. Some more machine shop work. <laughs> Let's get you guys close in here. All right, so there's your bare block right there. That's bare as it's getting tonight. Yeah. No cylinders, no crank. No, no cylinders. No, sorry. No pistons, no crank. No water pumps, no accessories on it. We pulled the oil, oil pump too. But uh, that's what he's going to end up getting. So. so right in here is a bad area. These will crack. I've seen them crack right here or right here. Because the water goes way down in here. And it's pretty thin right in here. Yeah, I think it's But I've seen them crack between those bolt holes right there. But we didn't pull the deal off, but I'm sure there's no problem there. I don't see a crack on that. Doesn't look in, in the obvious. No. So it looks good. It's good to go. You'd know. I'd build it. Yeah, you'd know if there was any issues with it. So good deal. So remember guys, you want to check between the exhaust valves there, the two center ones, and the middle uh cylinders. 
and then you want to check your pan rail. Really, if you're uh, if you're buying a motor that you don't know if it runs, you can pretty much just assume it's cracked, because the biggest majority of the time they're going to be cracked on these valves. Yep, between two and three, and yep, six and seven. And if you're going to buy one, you're going to gamble if you don't pull the heads off of it. You need to pull the heads off of it and the intake at the bare minimum to know whether it's any good up there. This is pretty rare for it to crack right here. It, it can, so that's something that you'll want to look for too if you can. If not, then you can take a chance at it. But mainly, those cracks in those cylinders are what you want, really want to look for. Still not a guarantee, but that's the best yeah. quick visual you can do yeah. before the machine shop test it. Yeah. See if you can get a machine shop that has a kit that will test it. Yeah. That pressure test it. Pressure test, yeah. Not mag, because you, you can't see the cracks inside there. Right. But with a pressure check, you can. they can put pressure on it and hold it and see if it holds. And if, yeah. if it does, it's good. If it leaks down, time to get another ball. Yeah, go look for another one. <laughs> Ask us how we know. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, this one, this guy's ready for this one. He'll be here tomorrow, so we'll get this cleaned up, and we can go home. It's about time. Eat the rest of the pizza or whatever. It's cold, and it's good now. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Like, share, and subscribe. See you. Have a good one. Thanks, Travis. No problem. <laughs>